and then come into another secondary, enable that. Stick another vignette in there as well. This time we'll just go straight for the face. Soft, soft, soft. Get the size down a little bit there. Cool, okay, and again, we'll just maybe bump the gamma up on that as well a bit more. And the saturation. And maybe push the mid-tones over to warm, warm the face up a little bit. So, without that, and with, in fact, before and after. Cool. So that's that's just um that's just a very, very quick little thing there, just showing you how we can use film wash just as part of a regular effect pipeline. Uh, in fact, we're probably gonna need to I added a keyframe at the beginning, but I didn't add one at the end, so let's uh come to where the camera basically stops moving, which is really about there. Come into the secondaries again. Add another keyframe. Bump that over there. Do the same for my other secondary. Come in here, add keyframe. Shift that over. Let's have a look, look, little look at that. There we go. So. Nice, straightforward. So yeah, we just used used the film wash just as as part of a regular regular pipeline in there as well, uh, and that's that's the nice thing about having it just in the in the color effects room rather than spanning across a whole grade. So even though it's doing some nice, fairly complicated stuff, as you can probably have a little look there, it's it's not a, a simple, straightforward uh, default color effect preset it's actually doing some quite nice interesting things in there okay um so the next thing is is how do we apply this look um across a number of different clips so the simplest way is just to shift select or command select the various clips that you want to include uh, and then we'll come in and let's what should we do with this clip let's warm this clip up so let's come to my yellows, maybe. Yes, early morning, ah, too much. Maybe a soft aged sun. And I double click on just that, but because we've got these two clips highlighted, the color effect has moved on to both of them there. So let's hide that back up. So again, if you think that's a bit too, uh, a bit too much, we can just come in, come into our blend, parameter here take that yeah about 0.8 very nice let's add the vignette back in so turn the bypass off there uh double click here just so we can have a little look uh let's, again let's make this slightly lighter 0.1 cool uh, another thing we've got in the in the vignetting is uh is a blur as well so we can come in and we can add blur to the edges there as well. So let's do a quick before and after. One thing with the blur, you probably want to add a bit of grain back in just to, uh, to even the entire look out again. Cool, nice. But you'll see that when we move over to the next one, those changes won't have followed over. So what we can do is just drag and drop color effect from one clip to another. Let's just undo that and redo that again. So drag and drop that over there. 
Um, now, another thing we've got, if you fancy it, is up at the top in some of these or down quite near the bottom, we'll have a final curve that is, uh, is bypassed. Uh, this is just to help, if you don't want to do it in the primary out, this is, this is just to help to, uh, to come up and maybe just what we'll do is we'll bump up some of the darker tones and, and control that curve a little bit there. Cool. So just make that slightly less shadowy. Then when we come back to our output, there we go. That's that's just kept the uh, lighting the body up and get the body a bit light. Just copy that over here, and you'll see that one of the things that that's also done is just sort of smoothed out some of the uh, some of the contrast in the skin there as well. Cool, nice. Let's uh, before and after that one as well. Quite like that. Good, good little uh, tone there. Right, let's uh, move on to the next clip. And what I'm looking at here is actually just uh, is just why you should balance your clips out beforehand. So you probably.